Thank you for joining us for two news at five. First tonight, we're now just one month away from the primary election and local organizations are getting voters ready. Well, there is a big push to continue to mobilize voters of color and those who are currently incarcerated. Two news reporter Aliyah Seabrooks is live here in the studio after talking with one of those local leaders pushing for change. Aliyah. Brooke and John, these initiatives are bolstered by a network of community groups working to educate more Daytonians about why their vote matters. Some of the younger people aren't voting because their parents aren't voting. Deja Demings is one of the faces leading a movement for change in Dayton. Demings, alongside other local organizations, have been going door to door on the west side, registering families to vote. I think some people get so stuck on filling out voter applications that they don't understand that that's just the first part, right? She says the goal is to promote community involvement past the point of simply registering to vote. The group also focuses on assisting incarcerated people exercise their right to vote, something many are not aware that they can do. They had no idea that they could vote um, while they were incarcerated. So the civic education piece is major. The group also works with Dayton Public Schools and utilizes local recreational centers to target young people who may have just become eligible to vote or will be in time for the general election. Coming up at 6, you'll hear which 17-year-olds could register to vote today and participate in the general election in November. In studio, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News.